Charles Amelin, Stephen Dubois, Pascal Dion, Jordan Pierre Gilles, and Maxime Laoun on top of the podium with that gold, the third gold for Canada of these Olympic Winter Games. And if you were watching our program earlier this morning, and we hope you were, we had the best conversation with Charles Amelin's family. And given such an emotional build up to the race, we had to have them back. So look who's with us again. <laughs> Hi, Geneviève. Hi. <laughs> Geneviève Lefebvre Tardif, Charles Amelin's fiance, dad Eve. Hi, Eve. Hello. <laughs> Daughter Vivi, who's up from her nap and back with us. Bonjour, Vivi. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> and we even have Stella with us, too. We've got the whole <laughs> gang. Now, if I look. He no. wants Stella's cookie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm checking in. Uh, look at me, Geneviève. I was seeing if you still have red eyes. We said you said there were going to be tears today. Tell me about what a morning you have had. Don't talk to me about the tears. I will start to cry. <laughs> but oh, it was just a roller coaster. Uncle Papa. Papa. We Uncle. Um, this is just amazing. Just amazing. What a way to finish a career, an Olympic career, uh, medals, gold medal. And like Eve said, it's a perfect race. So we're just really happy. So is that how you saw it? See, just if you don't know, Eve is not just dad. Eve is like former national leader of uh, short track speed skating for Canada. So you know everything about that. How did you see that race, Eve? Well... You know, like before the race, you know, you put all these scenarios in your head and say, OK, if the start goes this way, this is how, you know, I would see the how to react and all that. But, you know, like when seeing uh, them uh, you know, so right now, in the third position, I said, OK, for now, you know, it's a good one because they have the draft of the teams in front of them. Uh, but, you know, in these races, sometimes you expect that more action is going to take place and people will try to, uh, uh, to, to, to pass by the inside and maybe creating some situation. But for her, the first half of the race, it has been stable. They've, they, they, they stayed in the in third position, took advantage of staying calm, of putting all the energy together. Yep. And then we've seen them moving from third to second, you know, very smoothly without, you know, any energy to be spent. And then a little later, uh, taking the front, they had the legs and they were capable to uh, build the speed to keep the Korean behind. And it wasn't even close. It was unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> it just went flying across that line. So, so um, Genevieve, tell me a little bit. Okay, give me the scene. Is that the mascot from Pyeongchang that I'm seeing Vivi hold there? I, I think I read. <laughs> She's going to get a whole new Bing Duan Duan. Look at that. That's so much yeah. fun. What was the scene in the room? Just just describe it all to us. Who was doing what? Who was cheering? What was Vivi doing? Give us the whole picture. Uh, uh, Vivi was in my arm and she was crying because we were yelling at the TV. So she, she, she was just like, what's happening? Yeah. And there was, there were Eve just next to me, just explaining the race and like, okay, it's good. Go. Everything is fine. You know, he's like my therapist. You know, always next to me and telling me what's going on. And there was there were my friends also there. And just and and then it was done. And I was like, I asked, you know, is it done? Is it is it really done? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and 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 seeing you know like seeing the team reacting and then. Uh, the, you know, it's a moment seeing uh, seeing um, the coaches, you know, giving like huge hugs to the boys. Marganion. You know, it's a it's a it's a moment in history, and uh, we were feeling the emotion between these guys. So so much work to do uh, to get there, but uh, now they have the sense of achieving it, and it was just just unique. So already he's been on Instagram. We have a picture to show and he wrote champions for life guys. So he did the little tribute to his team. And, and has he already been speaking to you on FaceTime? Have you yeah. already had a chance to talk to him? Yes, we talked to him. We opened a bottle of champagne uh, and we talked to him and I, he just said that he's on cloud nine right now. 
Like he, he can't believe what's happening. It's a dream. Yeah. And I just told him that, no, no, it's not a dream. It's reality. And you're a gold medalist with the team. And uh, just enjoy the moment. And we're so proud of him. He kind of doesn't believe what, that, what is going on right now. You know, like you said, it's kind of a, like a dream. Exactly. You know, like we don't, we don't, they don't know uh, almost um, how to react to that. But they're, you know, actually having uh, attention from everywhere and they try to connect with their people and it's hard to do so in the next, uh, in the next uh, few hours. But uh, uh, wow. the boys are, are really, really, really excited. Can't wait to show that medal ceremony tomorrow. Okay, just a couple more quick questions because I'm enjoying talking to you so much. It's been so much fun to have you all with us this morning. Uh, Stella hasn't added anything to the conversation yet, but she's welcome to. But listen, uh, two things. Number one, with this, Eve, I think I'll put this question to you. With this, your son gets six Olympic medals. That ties yeah. him with Cindy Clausen as the, the yeah. Canadian Winter Olympian with the most medals ever, six. So right at the very top. Uh, put on the Papa's bragging hat for me and tell me where your son ranks as far as greatest Canadian Olympians. Well, it's, uh, you know, it's seeing Charles having stayed healthy and having fun and putting him the best of himself in any given race for the whole career. Uh, this speak a lot to me. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's just, you know, you want to, you, you dream about it to see that this commitment, this work ethic is there, this enjoyment of participating in a in a sport like short track and uh, up to the up to this point you know he never let anything go and and, and kept all these moments uh, and enjoy it for for his current te teammates for his previous teammates uh, there is a lot in in my memory and and I know that this will follow him for his entire life so it, it's uh, it, it, it's it's amazing well, as you said, champions for life. Let's go with Let's get some more tears, Genevieve, because I give you the last word. People need to know you're a sports journalist. You write sports stories. I don't know if this one, I mean, talk about storybook ending. And he lived happily ever after with a gold medal around his neck. The end of this chapter, can you sum it up for us? You know, the end of the chapter is just to be happy. Um, and Charles is really happy right now. Like uh, I really think that yeah. he's in the best, best moment of his life. You know, we we are together. We are in love. He, he is really passionate about what he do and what he does. And there's Vivi. You know, that's that's better than a gold medal. That's that's Vivi right here. And uh, she saw Papa. You know win his last gold medal so it's just the best end of a chapter you know yeah. it, it couldn't be better beautiful yeah. i think you're going to have the most extraordinary reunion when he gets home have a wonderful oh, family yeah. moment genevieve thank you eve thank you stella thanks for being part of our broadcast today et vivi <laughs> a bientôt j'espère on dit un bon bonjour yeah. à papa Bye, everybody. Enjoy this very special day.